Hi guys, Micro here. This is my Big Chin Chomper guide. This daily D&D adds for some awesome Hunter XP and gives some really really good rewards every single day. The Big Chin Chomper is especially good at low levels and it's a very effective way to train up Hunter doing it slowly every day in order to get to those higher levels. In this video I'll go into what the actual minigame is about, the rewards you'll most likely buy, and some tips and tricks on how to actually do it. So let's get into the video. So what actually is Big Chin Chomper? It is a daily D&D you can do twice a day. It's available every XX30 on the half hour of every hour. For example, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, etc. Every half pass, doesn't matter what hour it is, you'll be able to do Big Chin Chomper. You get experience for participating throughout from depositing your moths into the middle. I'll go into this more when I'm actually showing the minigame. And those points you get, you can spend them on rewards at the end. The higher level you are, the more points you'll be able to achieve. You're able to achieve a maximum of 1,500 points per game. This means you can get up to 3,000 points a day once you get a bit of a higher level. The points can be super useful because they can be used on the private Grenwall hunting tickets or for some extra experience as the two big items people buy. I'm going to go into the rewards for you now. As for the reward shop, a lot of the items are quite useless and there's only a couple that are actually worth getting. As an Iron Man, the Swamp Toads aren't actually that bad because they can be used as a secondary ingredient for Herb Lore and the Swamp Tar can save some time having to harvest it for ammunition if you're using Salamanders. But other than Iron Men, the items aren't very good. As for the tickets, the only ticket I would advise is the Grenwall Quota Ticket. Every time you catch a Grenwall in a private area where you're on your own, you'll use up one ticket. So if you get 1,500 points in a game, you can get 150 tickets a game. Which means you'd be able to catch 150 Grenwalls for that game. What a lot of people do is they save up these tickets and use protein traps on Double Experience Weekend in the private Grenwall area. So it's not super packed with other people. The Grenwall quota tickets are the best items here. And it's one of the main reasons why people even do this D&D other than experience. If you don't like doing Grenwalls, or if you're a skiller and cannot do Grenwalls, the best thing for you to get is experience. For example, I managed to get 716 points in this game of Big Chin Chomba because I am not that high of a hunter level on my Iron Man. But I can trade in every single point for 5 experience. So if I right click and I buy X and I buy 716 points of experience, I managed to get 3580 experience in Hunter. That's a lot of extra experience that you're getting alongside all of the experience you're doing in the minigame itself. Definitely some good rewards here and definitely a very good D&D at the early levels for experience and at the higher levels for those Grenwall tickets. Where I am on this map is where you need to go underneath the agility training area in the Tree Gnome Stronghold where the little hunter icon is where it says hunter store. You just need to go here at half past the hour or just before and then you climb up these steps. Once you've climbed up these steps, you use the golden portal in the middle. You click on the golden portal and it tells you where it will teleport you. And when you press go through portal, it will teleport you where the area is. And at half past the hour, there will be a hole that spawns here. As soon as you get down here, you want to grab a Protea flower from the side if you don't already have one. You want to equip this Protea flower because it will make moths get attracted to you and you'll catch a moth randomly every so often. This will increase the amount of points you get and the amount of experience you get for doing this. As for actually doing the Big Chin Chomper, all you have to do is run around in circles searching for moths and shaking branches. Whenever one of the many branches around and about the arena is shaking, make sure you click on it to get a moth from it. Whenever you see moths flying about, catch them, catch them even if you don't have the level for them, because the ones that you don't have the level for, as you catch them, they will disappear. This then allows for more moths to spawn, and then the one that spawns will probably be one you can catch, rather than one you don't have the level for. So make sure you're catching every moth you see, and checking every shaking branch. Once you have 15 moths, you go to the middle, and you give them to the Big Chin Chomper. This will make him run about, and then try and catch the moths to make him sleepy. As you can see on my screen, there is a bar that's going up slowly. 
This is his tiredness bar. This is how sleepy the big chin chomper is. Once this reaches the top, he falls asleep and the DND is over. You want to try and get as many points as you can before he falls asleep. If you're doing it at non-peak times, you'll get near enough the whole 20 minutes, but if you're doing it at peak times, you may only get 10 of the 20 minutes. Because the more people that are giving him butterflies, the quicker he'll get sleepy. You just repeat this process throughout the DND and you can do it twice a day. One very important thing to note is that if you have the enhanced Yatui stick that gives you 5% bonus experience, you can switch to that from your Protea flower when you're depositing the moths in the middle. This will give you the 5% bonus experience. Then you can switch back to the Protea flower to catch extra moths. You can also take items in here so you can bring in your hunter outfit or anything like that that will boost your experience rates. All in all, a amazing D&D. I really, really enjoy it. And I think it's really good for the early hunter levels. It gives you some great experience. And trading in the points for experience just leads to even more. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this guide, give it a like if you did enjoy it, subscribe if you're new for future content like this, other guides, progress series and the like. Join my friends chat, my crew in game, if fancy chatting with me or anyone else in there, Goblin Slayers with a Z is my clan, it's open to everyone and anyone so feel free to ask for an invite. The Discord link is in the description if you fancy chatting on voice communications with me or anyone else in there. There's normally quite a few people in there actively talking. And my Twitter link is in the description if you fancy following me on Twitter just for some updates and things to do with the channel and myself. And until next time, see ya.